Hey, what's up? Welcome to Fluent U. And today we're gonna to look at the classic learning program, Pimsleur. I'm an advanced French learner and I've teamed up with a beginning French learner to review this application and give it a fair and balanced impression. We'll go over what Pimsleur is and how it works. Then we'll discuss some advantages, some disadvantages, and who we think the program is best suited for. So with no further ado, let's get started. First of all, what is Pimsleur? Pimsleur is a language program based on the method of language learning developed by scholar Paul Pimsleur, who had a PhD in French, a best-selling language book, and let's be honest, the looks of a more dashing Mr. Bean. Dr. Pimsleur suggested a very straightforward language learning approach, which is why it's still very popular among language learners today. With Pimsleur, you can learn over 40 different languages, as well as some special dialects of popular languages like Chinese, Arabic, Spanish, and Portuguese. But no matter what language you choose, here's what the program gives you. First, a 30-minute audio lesson. Pimsleur programs, or levels, are split into 30-minute audio lessons. Each lesson focuses on basic speaking scenarios, like asking for directions, making new friends, or singing to gargoyles. You know, everyday French situations. This 30-minute audio lesson is the core of the Pimsleur program. Pimsleur has two golden rules. Number one, do one lesson every day. And number two, master 80% of the lesson before you move on to the next one. Within the lessons, you also get speaking props, which ask you to repeat certain things from that lesson. They might ask you to repeat after a native speaker to learn the pronunciation of a word or phrase, or to repeat a phrase that you learned earlier in that lesson, or to try to build a new phrase by piecing together vocabulary that you already learned. This is all based on Pimsleur's principle of anticipation, the idea that systematic prompting, reinforcement, and repetition really helps cement vocabulary in your brain. Pimsleur focuses on core vocabulary first. The app believes that overloading on vocabulary can really slow down the language learning process. That's why the lessons are geared towards teaching you a smaller number of vocabulary words, but in a really profound way. So built into each lesson, you'll have some spaced repetition. Spaced repetition is a widespread concept in language education, and it's meant to supercharge your vocab retention. The way it does this is by not having you learn vocabulary all at once, but learning in intervals spaced further and further apart, the better you get to know the word. These growing time intervals actually help your memorization, and that's why Pimsleur does this. Okay, now that we've gone over the main features, let's go over our five advantages of doing this program. Pro number one, it's hands-free and convenient. Because its core feature is an audio lesson, you can do the program while doing everyday chores, like walking your dog, doing your laundry, or pretending to listen during a Zoom meeting. <laughs> Not that pff, I'd ever do that. Pff. But remember, Pimsleur heavily focuses on speaking out loud, so make sure you don't bother anyone with your incessant babbling. And while we think Pimsleur can be hands-free, it's definitely not brain-free. The program is mentally demanding and requires your full attention, unlike most Zoom meetings. Pro number two, you'll learn practical vocabulary. The lessons revolve around common travel experiences and use very basic phrases that we thought could be used in common everyday scenarios. A lesson would begin with real dialogue with real native speakers. Then that conversation would be broken down so that we could first understand and learn new vocabulary. And then we'd quickly see how that vocabulary was used in the context of the conversation that we'd seen so far. Pro number three, Pimsleur can help you become confident while speaking. I know I'm often embarrassed to start speaking in a new language, and I was curious to see how Pimsleur would approach this. And both me and the French beginner that I worked with had the same positive impression. Because we weren't interacting with anyone directly, it made it easier for us to practice without feeling judgment or embarrassment. Plus, the Pimsleur prompts made our physical reactions to the language feel almost automatic. We think that if we kept going with the program, then we would have had a big boost in confidence by the end. And plus, what's so cool about Pimsleur is that while the app was kind of guiding us along, we were the ones who were using the language and piecing together phrases to create sentences. This made us feel like we had control over our speech, and which is why we think that you would have a big confidence boost if you use Pimsleur. Pro number four, it can aid in long-term memorization. Because of its use of these key techniques like the principle of anticipation and space repetition, we really think that Pimsleur would help with long-term vocabulary memorization. And there's proof to say that. According to a study done at Columbia University, Pimsleur programs show major strengths in promoting noticing, awareness, and longer memory retention. And using it for a while, we could find that we had a much easier time recalling these key phrases. Which brings us to our final advantage of Pimsleur. Pro number five, consistency is key. Pimsleur's strength really started to show when we committed to it. We really noticed the benefits of doing this program by following one of its golden rules, which is to do a lesson every day. 
and committing to the program. But like any language learning program, Pimsleur has its ups and its downs. So let's go over the top five disadvantages that we found as language learners. Con number one, it's boring. Not great. One of our biggest criticisms of Pimsleur is that it's just not very entertaining. It's the same kinds of lessons every day. It's a lot of repeated vocabulary and the lessons themselves aren't exactly thrilling. And while it did feel really nice to feel this progress in the language, sometimes that's not enough. And we felt that this app could be a bit lacking in the entertainment department. Perhaps a good way to offset this disadvantage would be to combine the classical learning strategies of Pimsleur with another app like FluentU. FluentU can add variety and entertainment by teaching through authentic videos, which perfectly complement Pimsleur. So if you're interested, click here for a free trial of FluentU. Con number two, Pimsleur can make you anxious. Foreign language anxiety is real. And if you're a perfectionist like me, then this Pimsleur quizzing style can push you really hard to try to memorize everything. And then by the end, you just really feel exhausted. <laughs> and while Pimsleur doesn't aim for perfection, only asking you to master 80% of the vocabulary, I can see how the effort to get to this 80% mark could be a bit discouraging for me and potentially for other users. One way to offset this con would be to start shadowing French podcasts. Shadowing is a language learning skill where you repeat audio not after the speaker, but on top of the speaker. Kind of like when you're singing along with a song on the radio. You sing with the singer, not after them. And we think that this method might help your speaking become more relaxed and automatic. All while picking up on things like pronunciation and intonation. Another way to offset this anxiety would be to practice while doing a different day-to-day -day activity. Distractions definitely help me relax. I worry less about perfection and focus more on consistency. Con number three is that Pimsleur does not really have explicit grammar. We thought that Pimsleur gave us a good foundation of grammar, but it didn't really explain the rules as we went along and left us feeling maybe a bit confused. We noticed that there were some grammatical ideas that were kind of introduced to us, but there were no actual explanations to give us context of what was going on. Thankfully, the solution is simple. A good old fashioned language textbook. These resources will help you round out your education while fully understanding the rules of your new language. Con number four, vocabulary is limited. Because Pimsleur focuses on core vocabulary, we noticed that there were a lot of words that were simply left out. While this wasn't necessarily a problem for the French beginner that I worked with, for me as an advanced learner, I found it to be a bit disappointing. And because Pimsleur isn't interactive, the app wasn't recognizing what we were retaining and what we weren't, which means the experience was a lot less customizable to each user. We think a good solution to offset this might be to use language exchange apps, which give you broader conversation practice and expose you to lots of new vocabulary. And con number five, writing and reading are virtually non-existent. As soon as we got started with Pimsleur, the app asked us to focus on our instincts and not write anything down. These instincts being related to listening and speaking, but less around reading and writing. By focusing on this audio component, Pimsleur really leaves us lacking in this visual recognition. So even if I got really fluent speaking in French through Pimsleur, if I were to arrive in France, I wouldn't even really be able to read an exit sign. This is probably an even more acute problem with the French program, given that French spelling is so different from the pronunciation at times. We could definitely foresee this as being a problem for visual learners. So to offset this, we might also recommend in this case, FluentU. One of FluentU's primary learning features is the interactive subtitles. You can click on any word or phrase to learn its translation, its grammatical information, and other tips. So taking all of this into consideration, who would I recommend Pimsleur for? I would say that this could be a really good program for people who are really busy and don't have time to devote specifically to language learning. Also, this could be really good for people who need a regular language learning routine, but don't really have the time to organize it or to structure it themselves. Also, learners who are blind, have low vision, or just want to limit visual learning for whatever reason, would find lots of benefits in Pimsleur. And finally, people who need to learn language basics for some sort of trip in a short period of time could find this app very helpful. So there are lots of reasons to love Pimsleur. And personally, while I find the app to be a bit limited, I could see how someone could really use this to be a useful tool in their language learning process. But an even better fit might be another app like Busu. And you can check out our review of Busu by clicking on the video on this screen. So I'll see you over there.